We'll go ahead and take a live look at our fair fair first alert live radar. Taking a live look outside right now. Temperatures in those mid to lower 70s. A little bit of rain chances up towards the Charleston area. We're not looking at any of that, but we do have lots of humidity out there. And as we go into tomorrow morning, starting temperatures going to be anywhere from the upper 60s in our inland areas, lower 70s close to the coast. But when you're planning out your commute in the morning, give yourself some extra time. Lots of patchy fog expected across the area. This is looking around 7 a.m. all the way out towards the Vidalia areas where it could be possible out towards Montgomery and Toombs County. Still going to be lingering around through mid morning. Then it should start to clear up very quickly after that point. But as we head through the rest of the day, temperatures only going to be warming into the mid 80s. We'll look for a few isolated rain chances out there, but really going to be a beautiful end to the work week. What we'll be looking at is high temperatures in the lower 80s, closer to the coast, mid to upper 80s elsewhere across the area. So really not going to feel that bad out there. Could feel at worst parts, maybe about the mid 90s. Uh, just with that feels like condition, but really just isolated rain chances as we head into the afternoon and that means no problems if you have any of those Friday night plants. Pretty much what we'll be looking at if you're heading out to any of those high school football games, temperatures going to be cooling down into the mid 70s, lighter winds, clear skies, just a great evening for some football and even better evening for heading out to the beach. High temperatures at the beach each day going to be in the lower 80s. Still going to look for more and more sunny conditions as we head through the, rip, uh, the weekend and we have a low rip current threat. So be sure to get out there. Take advantage of this beautiful weather that we're seeing all because we do have this high pressure that's building over the area and it's pretty much going to take over the entire southeast. It promotes lots of sinking air that gives you more of the sunshine and also gives you more calm conditions at the surface. And that's pretty much what we're going to look for all throughout the weekend. During this time, high temperatures going to be staying in those upper 80s through the start of next week. Still going to be looking at mid 80s as we head into the middle part of the week, but still not going to be tracking a lot of rain chances, at least until we get into Wednesday, possibly into Thursday and on into the following weekend. Because as we have this high pressure sitting over the top of the area that's given us those nice conditions, still have another cold front that's going to be coming in and we're still tracking the tropics right now. This system that we've been talking about hasn't even formed yet. And as we talked about before, the models are all over the place where that could head. So the key to everything is make sure you're getting those tropical updates. We'll be giving them out every single day, but nothing to worry about as we head through the weekend on into the first day of fall. Just going to be keeping our eyes on the end of next week. In the meantime, those high temperatures staying in the mid to upper 80s.